Hey guys, are you ready to finish the second half of The Last World today? How are you so sure that this will be The Last World? Yeah, Joe, have you ever wondered why the last level, which is supposed to be Bowser's castle, is now more like an abandoned pirate ship? Who cares if it's a castle or a ship? Maybe Bowser thought it was too far to walk on this rock and thought it was a better idea to sail over the lava. To sail over the lava? Really, Joe? Don't you think if you want to sail over the lava, your ship won't turn completely to black ash within the first few seconds? Just like your mother's cookies when they just come out of the oven. Don't be so rude about my mom's cookies. The last time you eat them all. I also don't know why Bowser chose a ship. Maybe it was on sale. Do you know how expensive a castle really is? That sounds very logical, Joe. But if you're really right, Michelle, then it could be that there is a secret world after this world that we are sailing to on the ship. It must be something with water, I think. Good guess, Einstein. It seems quite logical to me that it will be a water world. A ship can hardly sail over the grass. Don't pretend you're smarter, Joe. Not a minute ago, you thought it made sense that Bowser would sail his ship over the lava. I will bet with you, Barack, for $100 and a pack of cookies that Bowser sails us to a deserted island in the Pacific Ocean, hopefully because then we can leave Joe there. Problem solved. I can hear you, Trump. Yes, I know. It's no secret at all. But I'd rather not play a game where I'm forced to work as an employee of a large pirate organization. Those people are so useless. All they do is drink rum while singing songs around the fire and search for a chest full of gold that doesn't even exist. I really don't want to be associated with them in any way. Are you all right, Donnie? Or have you watched too much Jack Sparrow again? Who is Jack Sparrow? Is that your new girlfriend or just someone just for fun with a really bad fake name? Jack Sparrow is the pirate from Pirates of the Caribbean, idiot. Those films are really great. Hey, I don't want to be hearing that from you, Joe. You should respect sex workers. You need to respect all the professions. Who the hell does this guy think he is? Does he not know that he's talking to the real Joe Biden, the president of America? Nice to meet you, Joe Biden. I am Donald Trump. I'm a millionaire, ex-president, and rising president of the USA, where I'm going to make the country prosperous and loved again. So tell me, what are your plans for the future? Oh, Jesus, here we go again. Oh, you stupid motherfucker. Stop. Wait, no, we're not going to do this again. Guys, please stop fighting and start to focus. We have now arrived at the in-between castle. It would be nice if we could get this one so we can beat Bowser on his ship tonight. Jesus, Michelle, you almost got hit by that fire stick. Stop jumping upwards like a bunny and let us out before we get fucked. It doesn't make sense. You losers are so slow, I can handle this on my own. Sweetie, this is pretty dangerous. Let us out, please. Hey, Barack, this is your wife. Make sure you call her back so she can't do stupid things. We can see who wears the pants at home. You losers always act so pathetic, don't you? But you know that you could have used your controller much sooner so that you could come to me instead of sitting sadly in your safety net, waiting for someone to set you free. She's actually quite a good player. She herself dodged the fire bars in the star room to get the big star coin. Great job, Michelle. I could have done that myself. Thanks, Joe. Something tells me that we already know is that you would say that, Donald. Maybe because you know yourself that this is the truth, Barack. If you could control your wife, I could have done it myself, but now I was trapped in this bubble. I can take care of myself, Donald, and don't be so pathetic. You pressed the button on your controller yourself because you were afraid to die. What the actual fuck is happening right now? Who the hell is that old woman that looks like an ugly witch? That's not a witch, Joe. That's Bowser's sidekick. Oh, Lord, that sound is really scary. What is this magic herb she sprinkles on us? Is she trying to poison us? She's pouring rat poison on us, Joe. I'd better hold your breath, because when this poison comes in contact with your lungs, you'll die a horrible death. We have to jump on his head, then we can beat him. Where did that mutt go? Ah, uh, I see him right in front yeah, of me. Well, we got yes, him. Yes, we got Holy him. Holy crap, that was awesome. I wish that I could do that, too. Good work, Donnie. Thanks for the credits, Barack. They're well-deserved, too. I don't think you could have done this, either. That's why you better leave it to the star players. And I am talking about myself, of course. You see, Barack, this is just like what I was talking about at the beginning. This guy is so annoying and is so full of himself. Donald is not made for this game. Shut up, Joe. Do it yourself next time when you know better. I'll leave the dirty work to you. I don't get paid enough for this shit. Joe, you don't get paid for this anyways. Look, guys, a new path has come up to get to Bowser's ship. I'm so excited. We're only three levels away from our victory. Our victory? I think you used the wrong words, Michelle. You can better say Donald's victory. I am the one that beat Bowser at his ship and burned his ass in that fire. I don't need you guys. Enough of this. 
Actually, this is a useless thought because I lost hope a long time ago, but somehow I still hope that someday you will be a great team player, Donald. Haha, <laughs> lost case, Michelle. God damn it, Bowser is really transparent. You see, first he deceives us with scary rocks and fire, then he buys a ship on sale, and now also water has been added to the levels. Yes, what did you expect, sleepy grandpa? This is the last world. Do you really think he's going to make it easy for us? I have no idea. You tell us, Mr. Star Player. What else can we expect, huh? Don't ask me. Ask Nintendo if you really want to know. Or Google it, or have you already forgotten how to use the internet after the last episode? Oh, what the fuck? I almost fell on top of that fish. Be careful, Joe. They are not sharks, so what are you whining? Hurry up. Keep your mouth shut, you jerk. Joe, don't freestyle now, but let us out first before you get eaten by that octopus. Joe, over. come back! I don't know which door you bumped your head against, but you really have a wide imagination. Such a small octopus really can't eat me. Whatever. Come here. Take it easy, guys. I've got it under control. Even grab the star for us. And besides, shake your control and you can come to me. Oh, now the grandpa knows how the game works. Jesus. There's not much we can do, Joe. We're in water, remember? That's not very helpful. Or you just have to try harder, Donnie. God damn it, that stupid motherfucker also has an attitude against me. You better stop this, Joe, or I'll warm your ass up in the hot lava out there. How about that? Ooh, now I'm getting scared. Thank me for playing the water level for you and releasing you from that safe bubble to give you all an extra life. So say, thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Oh, in your dreams, Grandpa. Oh, come on, Donald. Can't you just be thankful for Joe's help for once? Why would I? Bending on your knees is like admitting that your whole life was a mistake. It may surprise you, but many people still get down on their knees for me. Yes, your wife certainly every night before bed. How embarrassing. I think it's more embarrassing that Melanie doesn't even know how she have to use her knees to kneel in front of you, Donald. Her whole body blocks at the mere thought. Keep your mouth shut, you both. Okay, let me drive this thing. You guys can't do two things at once. That's an unjustified prejudice, Michelle. Step aside, let me do it. Yo, Obama, why the hell did you pick me up? I can handle that piece of shit myself. I know, honey, I trust you, but I don't trust Donald. He will throw you into the fire. There was indeed a chance if you hadn't left voluntarily. You jerk. Barack, get the fuck off my head. That would be a bit easier if the awesome driver of this thing paid a little more attention and didn't keep pushing us to the end of the screen. Geez, I don't see anything stupid, asshole. You don't have to see anything either. Just make sure that no bomb falls on your head. I would also like it if you would take it easy, Donald, so we can't see if something falls for us. Did you also have something, Joe? I do not see that you being the one actually doing something right now, so shut up and look forwards. Oh, come on, Donald, stop this. All right, fine then. You're lucky we have to wait for that volcano to go away. Oh God, yes, finally we can get rid of this thing. One thing is certain, you don't touch that controller again, Donald. Do you really think you can commend me? I always decide for myself. Come on, Donald, you really have to take us into account, otherwise this won't work. I'm driving that thing now. No, you don't. And Joe, I know what I'm doing. Try not to tell me how I have to do my work. If you do and try me to tell how I have to do it, I will burn your white ass to a black smoked piece of chicken. Don't play the hero, Donald. You don't know what you're doing. Every time you take matters into your own hands, there's a 50% chance we're gonna die. And that's not a lie. I fell just about got off this thing because you can't keep your controller straight. I agree that Donald should not be allowed to steer in the future. Joe is right. You really need to do something about your shaking hands. Shut up, you both. Oh, Lord, why are there so much bird fly around? This is so stressful. I don't know, Joe, but we'll probably be almost there. Keep freezing them. That works really well. Yes, you're doing great, buddy. Nice teamwork of our all. Oh, now you're suddenly happy with the team, Barack. You guys sucks. After this level, I'm out of this. We hate and love you, Trump. But I agree, my stress level can't handle another level of this world, I must say. We can finish this tomorrow. All right, let's do that. I think the viewers also want to see the final video where we beat Bowser's ass, right? If you will, leave a comment below and dunk the subscribe button so we can keep you updated. Yes, are you sure we're going to beat Bowser Barack? I don't rate our team's chances very high. Wait, what do you mean? We have to take on Bowser with a sleeping, frightened grandpa. A woman on the loose and a man who, well, what shall I say? Oh, shut up, Donald. Donnie, you're really making my head go nuts with your gibberish. Make sure you eat well and get some sleep before we start next time because you are an annoying bitch right now. Happy that we make it till the end of this level safe. See you guys in the next round. And Joe, take enough sleep because that video will be fire.